Um, my name is Idris. I come from America and I converted March 24th. My, my question is, so God is all-knowing. He knows the past, the present, and the future. My question is, is in, is in, in an Islamic point of view, what is the point of this world? Because if he is all-knowing, why do we not just go to where we are meant to be? Brother Idris has asked a very good question. That Almighty God knows everything, the past, the present and the future. And if He knows everything, then why don't we go to the end directly? I would like to give you an example. In a classroom, a teacher is teaching the student for a year. At the end of the year, the teacher can predict this student will come out first class first, this student second class, this student fail. Correct? And when the student predicts, what the student predicts mostly comes true because the student knows that this student is very intelligent first class first, this student second class, this student fail. I'm asking the question. If the teacher says, okay, now no examination, I fail you, will the person agree? Even the person who knows you're going to fail, will he agree? Right or wrong? So here, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, moment a human being is born, the Fatir is born on the neck. Allah knows everything about the future. Now you are born. Allah says, okay, you go to heaven, you will not object. Allah says, okay, you boy, you go to hell. He will say, why should I go to hell? Right or wrong? Allah knows. He says, go to hell. What have I done? I have just come in this world and you put me to hell. So Allah knows in advance, but Allah you make the choice, not Allah. So people ask about Takdeer. That if everything is written in destiny, whether I'm going to, whether I'm going to rob or not, if, I'm going to, if it's mentioned my destiny, I'm going to rob, who's to blame? Allah is to blame. I'm asking the question, if the teacher predicts that you will fail and if you fail, will you blame the teacher or the student? You'll blame the student. The teacher knew that the student used to play hooky, used to bunk class, see a lot of movies, never do his homework. Now here, Allah has given you a choice. But you are the person who chooses. Allah knows in advance. For example, after you pass your school, after you pass your A-levels, you can become a doctor, you can become an engineer, you can become a businessman, you choose to become an engineer. It's your choice. Allah knows in advance that at so and so time when you pass your A-level, you will choose to become an engineer. The choice is yours. But Allah will make have knowledge of the future. Now everything what knowledge he has written now. But who makes the choice? You. For example, you come at a crossroad. Cross road number one, two, three, four, five. You choose road number four. Allah knows in advance on 11th of April, 2016, you will come at a crossroad. You have choice one, two, three, four. You choose road number four. It is not because Allah has written you are choosing road number four. It is because you will be choosing Allah has written in advance. Do you understand? Yes. After you pass your university, you can be an honest person and work and earn a living or you can cheat and rob. You choose to cheat and rob. Who's to blame? You are to blame. Yes. Allah gave you both the choice. But Allah knows in advance at so and so time, after you pass your university, you can be honest, you can cheat. You choose to cheat. So who's to blame? You, not Allah. So here, if Allah puts the moment you are born, if Allah puts you in hell, you will object. Why are you putting me in hell? In the Quran, Allah says, on the day of judgment, no unbeliever will ever question to the justice of Allah. They will only say, please give us one more chance and Allah says it's over. Allah has given you umpteen number of chances in this world. You understand? So if Allah puts you directly into heaven, you will not object. But if he puts you in hell, you will object. So that's the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this life is a test for the hereafter. The choice is yours. Allah has given you the guidance in the Quran, what is good and what is wrong. If you follow the guidance of the Quran, you'll go to heaven, Jannah. If you don't follow the guidance, you'll go to hell. So the choice is yours, brother. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. You're the most welcome.